content. Okay, so let's go into social media real quick. Here's the definition. Social media platforms are computer-mediated uh, tools that allow people, companies, and other organizations to create, share, or exchange information, career, interest, ideas, pictures, and videos in virtual communities and networks. Thank you, Wikipedia. So um, the, kind of the experiment here is think about your business, think about these platforms, and start to unpack, okay, like where do I want to spend most of my time? You have limited resources, you have limited time, you have limited money. Don't fall into the trap of thinking, okay, I need to be on all of these things. We'll get into an exercise in a second where we will kind of try to figure out, okay, what's best for your business. But I want to share some interesting facts with you. So uh, of the 7.2 billion people on Earth, 3 billion have internet access, and 2.1 billion are active on social media uh, every day. 1.7 billion use social networks from their mobile device. So that's, say hey, I'm in line, or I'm at a red light, or <laughs> another joke, okay. Um, <laughs> yeah, they're using it on their mobile device, which is important because we have to think, okay, it's not just I'm you know sitting at work on social media, it's another joke, no? Okay, um, you know, it's with you all the time, every day, right here in your hand. Uh, the number of worldwide social media users is expected to reach 2.5 billion by 2018, so it continues to increase. 70% of the U.S. population has at least one social networking profile. So of the ones that we just went over, they have at least one of those, right? They might be on Facebook, they might be on Snapchat, whatever it is. 52% of online adults now use two or more social media sites, and the average social media user maintains at least five accounts. So that means, you know, like on my phone, I have Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, Snapchat, and fill in the blank. I don't know what else I have on there. But um, here's the average minutes spent per day by platform. So the average American spends 40 minutes on Facebook, 34 minutes on Tumblr. Is anyone on Tumblr? That makes sense because that's more of a kind of a tweens platform. A lot of younger folks spend a lot of time looking at posts there, sharing posts. Uh, then we have 21 minutes on Instagram, 21 on Pinterest, 17 on Twitter, 17 on Snapchat and about 10 on LinkedIn. Um, so just kind of putting things in perspective, but to Ryan's point earlier, we encourage you to be strategic about where you invest your time, energy, and money, especially if you're doing it yourself. You only have so much time, and it's easy to kind of get caught in the trap of trying to do everything. Um, just a quick example, Royal Hawaiian is the company Ryan worked for is firm one in this example. So email marketing was important, Twitter worked, uh, blogging worked, Instagram worked, Facebook and LinkedIn worked. For uh, Firm 2, the loan agency I worked for, we did some videos because it was a good way, so YouTube, to communicate what the heck they were. Nobody ever heard of a CDC unless you were in the industry. Um, so it was good to communicate to small businesses that this was available. Twitter was good, we just kind of put out quick updates. Um, there was you know a lot of loan people that checked that. Google Plus was a more professional platform at the time, so we leveraged that and we leveraged LinkedIn as well. So think about those 10 or so social media platforms that we showed earlier, and start to think about, okay, where do I want to spend my time? Where does my customer spend their time? Are they, uh, you know, Facebook's kind of got everybody on there, but Facebook's really good about allowing you to target your advertising as well. So you can pick very specific groups you want to talk to. For Ryan and I's business, these are the three platforms that, that we focus on for our workshops and boot camps and speaking engagements. We like uh, Instagram, because it allows us to be visual. We like Facebook, there's a lot of interaction on there. And we use LinkedIn, because we're, we're, we want to talk to business professionals.